Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I am starting a week of mail cards. What my plan is, is to make six cards. So you'll get a card every day, Monday to Saturday. Um, on, on, on Sunday, make a box room. The following week I shall do a week of female family cards. And... Monday through to Saturday but I won't make a female box because it will be the same as the male box. Um, these are all going to be for five family members so we've got dad, brother, uncle, son, grandfather, I um, can't remember the other two but we'll get there. I've made them all so I'm just going to film them now for you. I hope you enjoy the series. So today we're going to make this one. This is a Z-fold card and it's for Dad. I hope you like that. Now every card I'm making, I've already done all the cut now. All we're going to be doing is the little bit of stamping, if there's stamping on it, and sticking the cards together. This is because I am filming all these cards in over two days. So the 12 cards over two days. Um, and because my back is playing up so I can't be lifting the big shot up every two minutes. So that is my plan. Everything's cut out and ready. All we're going to do is put the cards together. So, start this card. Everything's going to be the same. I've got all the bits and pieces here. So, to start with, you need a half a sheet of A4 of Night and Navy. This is by 4 and 1 8, which we will fold shortly. Then you need a inch and a half strip of Night and Navy by 11 and a half so you have to take that quarter an inch off the end um, or eighth of an inch I think it was then you need three pieces of white cardstock this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and two pieces exactly the same size these are Two and seven eighths by four and one eighth, and they're going to go. No, well, that should be four inches. It is, and they are going to go there, like that. That will go over there. there. Then the design the series paper I'm using is. This is from the garage geared up garage series and I have got three pieces of cardstock these are five and five eighths by three and seven eighths no five and five eighths by three and seven eighths who am I by one and three eighths that's better these are one and three eighths by two and a quarter and they're going to go on there. To cover the white pieces, we have one here at two and five eighths by four inches. Oh, I never cut that down. I'll have to trim these two, this one. I should take a little bit off. Yeah, that's better. So, you need a piece of designer series at two and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on there. And then this one. I have two pieces so you've got two and five eighths 
by two and one eighths. Oh, that'll go at the top. And you have another one at two and five eighths by two inches. And that will just overlap a little bit. But that doesn't matter because of the yellow pieces going on top. And then you have another one at five and five eighths by two inches, which will go across the bottom of the big white card. Okay, I know that's a lot of card in its place, but it'll all come together. So move that out of the way. Well, first of all, we want this card, the long piece. We're going to fold it in half. I'm not using the scoreboard. Fold that in half, make sure it stays together. And then what we do, we bring back one of the other ones and better when it's in my hand. And fold that back and then you've got like a Z with the strip we're going to do the same with that fold it in half and then you want to fold another bit or one of the bits in half again up to the score line. And burnish. And that will go on like that. Perfect. So that's all our folding done. And now we'll just do our sticking. Let's hope this is not stuck up. Right, first of all, let's stick this piece of paper on. And this paper, sorry, I never said where, is from the truly tailored paper stack. I'm just leaving a, a small gap all the way round, sticking that on. And then we'll place this on the biggest part. Let's do this one first. I actually didn't find it too hard thinking of um, six mail cards. Yes, I have used retired stamp sets and papers. But I've got them, so I've got to use them. And I'm sure all you lot, if you're going to make any of these cards, will find 
you have retired papers or any mail looking papers that you can use for a mail card in your stash I just do the front and put these two little bits on I'm going to use, leave a little border This idea, or the layout idea, has come from Pinterest. It's not exactly the same as the one that was on Pinterest. I haven't got my mobile on the table, or I would have looked the name up. Oh no, there wasn't a name on this one. That's why I haven't got it. Right, let me just stick that on there. And that will look like that now. Put that to the side. And we're going to stick the yellow pieces on. The only bit of stamping on this one is the word birthday. On some of these cars, um, during the week you'll be surprised. Some will only take five minutes, ten minutes, and some will take half an hour to make. Because I some found some really easy cards off of the internet and Pinterest to case, so and that we're going to stick on there. Oh well, I say that's the middle. So what I'll do is hold that like that. Oh no. And I'll just do that. Make sure it's straight. Stick that there. Then we need to glue this little bit. Hold it closed. Close the card and stick it down. That way you know you're in the right place. So that is the base of our card. All we've got to do now is decorate it. For the decorations I have cut out lots of letters. And I've punched out some balloons. Now with the letters, let's get them all out of the way. I have punched out, oh, no, die cut out. These are from Stampin' Up's large letter dies. I've stumped out a set, the word happy in night and navy and also in white on Pinterest she actually had the stamp set so obviously stamped them and then um, uh, cut them out well as I didn't have the don't have the stamp set for the letters large letters so I thought I'd shadow them like that so if you can see it, just put that on and just offset it a bit 
so it's got a shadow. Can you see that? Yeah. And that's the way I've done my happy. So we've got to stick all these on. So I'm just putting glue on the side that actually sticks on the letter H. And I have glued the wrong side, but that's easy. Turn it up that way. And it's now got a nice shadow. So we're going to do that with all the letters. I could have done this beforehand, but I'm to leave something to do for the video. Stick all these on. Uh, trying to remember what side then. I mean, some of these cards that I've done are, you know, a bit more exciting than this one. All right, there's the word happy. Can you see that? Sticks out better with the blue behind it. And then the word dad, I cut out of, oh, Stampin' Up! used to have a small set of letters ages ago and I managed to get some someone was selling them so I got them so I have the tiny letters I have an even smaller set than this but this is the right size I need that's a good side that Right, now we have the happy dad. So we need to stamp. I've got a bit of scrap here, and I've got the word birthday from well said, and on here it is. There, on the bottom. So I'm just going to stamp that out in black ink. And stamp that just down there. Then 
get my big scissors for this, I think. Yeah, that's nice. And I have not got just a moment while well, I get a scrap of navy. This scrap of navy, night navy cardstock. Right, let's get this. I don't want it too big. Hmm. Right. I do. And then cut that out. Now we're going to flag the ends up. And I'm going to do them both together. So cut out the middle corner. To the point. Rid of all the rubbish. And we should have a piece of card with border either side, we do. a bit out a bit. That's nice. So, let's put all these on, did I? Oh, I stuck them all flat. So what I did, I placed all these letters about an eighth of an inch off the bottom making sure they all fit on like that so let's get gluing them on right I'll put H on first and then I'll put the Y on. Oh now with the Y so don't go I've gone up too far. Just remember not to go up too far. She don't want to stick it on there. And you don't want to go over. There 
there next. Right, let's stick this P on. Stick this bit on, and that P you can go up a little bit on the um, long bit of the P, but not on the round bit of the P. Open it up and the word dad we will just stick on here in the middle. I'm going to stick the A down first. Just stick a D down either side. And as straight and as level as I can. And then the word birthday, we put on dimensionals over the Y and the P. So let's get some dimensionals. That's the large ones I want. Just need two. Just stick that there. I hope I had it all in camera. I wasn't taking much notice of the monitor. Right, to put a little bit of decoration here, I have cut out some balloons. We're going to put two on the inside, and a dark one, and then these three we're going to stick on here, yeah, like that, so that when it's open you've got a big bunch of balloons. So let's stick these two on first. on. Right, the big one I'm only gluing the bottom because I don't want it um, sticking to the piece of paper down there. Oh, 
And there we have our birthday card for Dad. Hope you like that. This one. Oh, there it is. I was going to say it's not going to lay flat. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But for this week, it'll be Monday through to Saturday. So I hope to see you again tomorrow. Where we will have another male family card. Thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.